so if uh, I hate that this room has like an echo or I'm just hearing myself I don't really know I have a new video I know it's been a while I feel like I said that in my last video on something but I have different reason why I was gone so yeah without further ado let's go so I'm first starting off with the cover effects illuminating primer and I'm just applying it all over my my face with a beauty blender So I'm taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Long Wearing Liquid Foundation and I'm just applying it to my face with a beauty blender and also applying it a little bit down on my neck. Next, I am taking the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. I believe that's what it's called. I'm not 100% sure because as you guys can see, the redding com like completely came off. So I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just applying that under my eyes in a V and then blending it out with my beauty blender. Next, I'm taking the Sephora Bright Set Powder in Banana and just applying that under my eyes with the Real Techniques setting brush. Next, I'm taking the Full Coverage Waterproof Concealer from Makeup Forever and I'm just applying it on any imperfections and around my nose and blending it out with my Beauty Blender. Next, I'm taking the Urban Decay Primer Potion in original and I'm just applying that all over my lid all the way up to my brow bone and then I'm taking Foxy from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and just applying that with my Real Techniques 200 brush to set the primer that we just put down. Now from the same Naked palette I'm taking Naked 2 and with my Sephora Pro Tape for crease brush, I'm just applying that into my crease. Now I'm taking the Sunkiss Radiance Compact and I'm taking the first four shades. Really, I'm taking all the shades and just kind of mixing it to get the desired look that I want. And I'm using the Sephora Pro Small Shadow Brush. Now again from the Naked Basics palette, I am taking Faint and just applying that on the outer V area and working it slowly into my crease with my MAC 217 brush. Now to darken up the outer V area where we just apply Faint, I am going in with Cave and using the same brush, my MAC 217 brush, and just applying it the same way I did with Faint, slowly working it into the crease, and then just blending it all out. Next, I'm taking this eyeliner that I do not know how to say, so it's on the screen, and I'm just applying it to my waterline and my tight line. Next, I'm taking the Maybelline Master Precise by iStudio in black and just doing my regular wing liner and the technique that I'm using, I learned from Candy Johnson, so I'll have the link down below if you guys want to learn how to do an eyeliner, wing eyeliner like a pro. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next, I'm just curling my eyelashes and then I'm taking the Urban Decay Precisions Mascara and just applying it to my top and bottom lashes. Now to finish the rest of the face, I'm taking the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm just contouring with that to just add a little warmth to the skin with my e.l.f. Complexion Brush. Next, I'm taking the Coralie Step by Benefit and applying it to the apples on my cheeks with my Real Techniques 300 brush. For lips, I am taking the NYX Lingerie in Lace Detail and in Baby Doll and I'm just mixing those two and applying it to my lips. Next, I am taking the Becca by Jaclyn Hill and Champagne Pop and Pearl and mixing the two with my Real Techniques setting brush that I used to set under my eyes. Usually I do this set before, but I forgot. I'm also applying it to my cupid's bow and on the tops of my brow bone. I hope you guys enjoy it and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully I'll see you with another <laughs> makeup video or another video. I don't know what it would be, but hopefully you see you with in another video very soon. For now. All right, bye. The bronzer on my face because this butter bronzer. Hey. Take this That's not nice to stare at people. Got cheat cheat culture.